What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the new perk system in Modern Warfare 2. I kind of got the example that uh, Infinity Ward gave us yesterday in the reveal to kind of show you guys exactly what they're talking about. But this is a big change compared to some of the other perk changes we've seen over the years in past Call of Duty games. A lot of people are comparing this Call of Duty's perk system kind of to what we saw in MW3 if you played Modern Warfare 3. But they've kind of taken that idea and expanded on it. So in Modern Warfare 2, the perk system is being kind of changed to a perk package, which you will be able to build. You will have a choice of four perks. Two of the four perks are known as base perks, while the third and fourth perk perks are known as bonus and ultimate perks. Base perks do not require activation, so your two base perks will be active as soon as the round starts. But bonus and ultimate perks will not activate until later on. They're kind of on a timer. The activation will flu fluctuate, they said, from player to player. So in a non-round base mode, a bonus perk is earned four minutes into the match, while a ultimate perk is earned eight minutes into the match. But you can speed these up depending on how well you're playing. So kills, assist, objective play will speed this up. And it says during a match, every 10 points uh, shaves off a second from that kind of countdown to your bonus and ultimate perk. So in other words, the better you're playing, the quicker you're going to be able to gain those final two perks out of the four. So you kind of can see the option, the, the, like I said, the options they showed us here. We have different ways that you can build your class. They said between Hunter, Deadeye, Support, and Sniper. And they kind of gave us the example of Support, which has EOD and Battle Hardened as your, as your base perks. So those will be the two perks you would go into the game with. And as time goes on, the better you play, you will then unlock the bonus perk resupply, and then you would unlock the ultimate perk survivor. Now, the interesting interesting thing about this example they gave is survivor actually is last stand, and it has some other uh, unique things kind of tied to it as well. That was one controversial thing, I think, when they showed the video yesterday. A lot of people did not want last stand added back to the game, but they're just kind of giving an example of how you can build this. I'm really interested to see when the beta starts today, when I can get my hands on it here on PS5, what the Hunter, Deadeye, and Sniper options have as well. Because I think they're trying to give us a lot of different ways to, you know, build your loadout, you know, like you normally would in Call of Duty, but also build a package to make your perks kind of fit the way you want to play. Now, I know a lot of people may not be a huge fan of having to, you know, have all their perks not be available to them at the start. You know, you're only going to have two available to you and the last two perks will only be available depending on, you know, if the game goes on long enough, the timer, you know, kind of counts down, you know, on its own and you actually get those perks unlocked just that way or, you know, that you have to play really well to unlock them quickly. We'll kind of have to wait and see how this works. I'm sure there are going to be a lot of adjustments from, you know, the beta until the game actually comes out. But leave me a comment let me know what you think about this new perk package kind of idea. Like I said, it's something that is completely different than what we've seen in the past. Perks are always, you know, changing from Call of Duty game to Call of Duty game. But this really is kind of similar to what we saw in MW3, but just kind of expanded on from what we saw in MW3 as well. They kind of took that idea and just expanded on it to make this more of a package style system. And something, in my opinion, that kind of reminds me of how you know, field upgrades worked in the past and how field upgrades are going to work in this game is actually based on a timer before you get everything available to you. So leave me a comment with your thoughts down in the comment section. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.